Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is just going to be a quick update about MK Traders. I'll link my two previous videos talking about them down below. Since I made those videos, a bunch of people reached out to me with personal experiences. Just want to read a couple of these messages. This is alleged. Again, this is alleged. This person said, hi, I just watched your video about MK Traders. I have a friend who bought pins from them and all the ones she showed me were fake, not authentic. I highly recommend you do a deep dive on MK Traders. They have serious beef with at least another whatnot seller. And they said, I wish I had photos of the pins, but I don't. I can confidently say they were fake though. I've been in Disney pins for six years, so I know what I'm talking about. As for the other seller, I don't know if I can say. Maria has blasted them in shows before though. Her bio saying, don't overpay, shop MK is a direct jab at that seller. MK Traders was briefly suspended from whatnot around June, could have been May or earlier. Their big beef is with Figment Guy pins. So all their slander is Figment themed. We have um, some screenshots here. Figment's tip of the day, don't overpay, shop with MK. Map of Epcot, what did you say you're blocked? Okay, and then this is a comment from someone watching your show. It said, man, this stream is toxic. You say you're not bothered by this streamer, but it's the entire topic of your stream. Just sell pins. So I talked to the Figment guy. I said, someone said you have info about MK Traders. He said, they have been harassing us since January. We had to change our address to a PO box and sent them a cease and desist. He said, we run a Disney pin group on Facebook with 50,000 people in it. They got booted for breaking rules and then started targeting us because we have 200 people in our show and it was the only way to get any clout. They said we sold our stuff for too much. I literally start everything at a dollar. This one got her a 48 hour suspension, but it got really bad after she came back. So we'll play this video. They overcharge their customers. I feel that they're a huge narcissist. I feel that they're a vain. And I feel like they're just in general a giant fucking douchebag. And that's my fucking opinion of it. So, I shared that opinion. And I was not the only person of that opinion. And so it kind of grew into this joke. And now that person's all butthurt about it. Oh, so sad. Jeez. So every now and then, this person's a crybaby because they are a narcissist. And, um, for example, they think a certain word has everything to do with them. I was selling figment pins, selling the pins. And this person thought we were talking about them. No, no, we're talking about pins, asshole. So anyway, which is why, which is why, so anyway, ass how about you, bro? Somebody commented on one of my videos and they're like, she swears more than you. I'm like, Holy fuck, she does. <laughs> Watching her whatnot show yesterday, every other word was fuck. Like I say fuck often, but not as often as her. Oh yeah, there's just a little update. Again, I have a lot more. To get banned from the happiest place on earth, you gotta be like, you gotta be. Maria did say in her show something about fighting, but she wouldn't elaborate on that. All I can picture is like, you know, the TikTok videos of like the crazy women fighting at Disney World. Who gets into a fight at the happiest place on earth. And once again, who gets banned from the happiest place on earth? I feel like this is my opinion, but I feel like uh, you gotta be real shit person. People in my previous video were like, when you get arrested, they, they take all your belongings, um, you know, cause they don't want your belongings with you in a jail cell. Obviously, <laughs> obviously they do that, but it's the fact that they said it was taken into evidence. That's the part that's like, hmm. Yeah, they're not gonna leave you with your purse that could maybe have like a fucking pocket knife in there or something you shouldn't have in a jail cell. Yes, I know that. It's the fact they said it was taken into evidence. We'll find out the answer to that soon though because their court date is once again, October 24th at one o'clock. But yeah, like I said, I will keep you guys updated. If you've had a bad experience with them and you want to share, feel free to email me or send me a message on Instagram and I will keep you anonymous if you want to remain anonymous. Um, the figment guy said, ah, go ahead, talk about it. He didn't care that I mentioned his name. Yeah, stay tuned to my channel because thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in my next video.